Hello all timers and newcomers, I am Core Scratches, and thank you for joining me to take a look at what I found. This video will be a bit different from what you've come to expect from me. I enjoy making reviews the way I have been, and you can expect a new one as soon as next week. But between ripping softwares, copyright claims, money troubles and a host of other issues, I'm revising my approach a little bit. Not to mention I've spent the last three weeks reviewing an obscure Swedish kids film, I couldn't leave you guys hanging for another fortnight. And while currently the only source of new films I have is YouTube, I also have a subscription to POV Horror. I'm not about to lift films off a streaming service, but I can still watch them and that is something. It gave me the idea to watch a film, write down my thoughts on it and quickly present it to you in a short, sweet little segment that I like to call In Summary. I'm going to be doing this every other week, in between my regular reviews. There'll be no spoilers or scenes beyond still images or possibly some clips from the trailers, but it'll just be my assessment of the films I watched with no fatty tissues or calories. What this means is more content and more variety and a little something for those of you who maybe like found footage but don't appreciate me recounting the whole film. I hope you'll enjoy it, and I've taken up enough of your time already. Thank you for listening, and let's move on. Heidi is a fascinating little beast that forced me to question where I really stand on several things I consider when I make a review. By themselves, any one aspect of this film isn't done very well, but balanced against one another and depending on one another, the only real complaint I have is the acting and... I'm getting ahead of myself. Los Angeles, City of Angels. Mount Purgatorio reaching high to touch the celestial spheres, where flights and fancies descend into reality. To be further from its peak is to be further from God, and on its borders Suburbia stubbornly clings to the cityscape, terrified of falling away into the abyssal desert. It's here, the fathers from heaven, in the absence of God our story begins with Ryan Davis and Jack Jenkins. Ambitious and lost, they spend their days looking at life through a camera lens, conspiring infantile tricks and pranks to the embarrassment of everyone who knows them. One day, Ryan is tasked with caring for his neighbor's household when she is out of town, and by happenstance discovers the old woman has left the attic untouched since the last owner. Up there, the two jackanapes discovers a stockpile of second-hand commodities once intended to be sold but now left abandoned in the dust and grime. Save for one. A grotesque, eyeless doll, untouched by the airborne refuse. Its name tag reads, Heidi. At the edge of life, in the absence of good, at the presence of the bottomless abyss, the abyss stares back at them and rises to swallow them whole. Jack is dumb enough to give the thing a kick before a plank is hurled at him, but neither of them are dumb enough to take the thing, making it all the more unsettling when the thing starts appearing at their houses. From start to end you know where this movie is going. Two prankster assholes discovers a clearly evil doll, they get followed by the thing with spooky stuff happening. They get blamed for it and no one believes it's the doll doing it because they are prankster assholes. Except for a stubborn love interest played by Joel Fulco. When things start happening, they try to rationalize it. When things get worse, they turn on each other. The last conversation they have is a fight, and then people start dying. It's as by the numbers as you can get. So instead of pretending it's in any way surprising, or hope you've never seen a horror movie before, director Daniel Ray focuses entirely on presentation. This is found footage in technique only. It's stylistically edited, filmed on several unrelated cameras, full of background music and sound effects, and even by the movie's own rules, it's impossible for this footage to be real, as it's heavily implied Heidi doesn't allow her existence to be documented. With that said, it places you in the moment and lets you experience the events with the characters, and while it's all very basic, Heidi is a very unpleasant little monster to find in a dark corner. Cards on the table, no, she doesn't scare me and I have never once found dolls frightening. Even with something like Chucky, my instant thought is to stomp on him for a minute and then go back to watching TV. But just as an aesthetic, as an antagonist, as a threat? 
God damn this little monstrosity. She does a lot of things that, in any other circumstance, I would find pretty ridiculous for a doll to do, but there is something utterly alien about her that convinces me whatever she is supposed to be is capable of doing what she does. Partly it's the way she is filmed. She does move on camera, but all of her movements are slow and stuttering, and all the things she does is done out of frame. That sounds cheap, but she doesn't pull any outlandish poltergeist tricks when the camera is away, and she doesn't teleport around the place. Her actions feels like that of a living being, and all of it is done to unnerve, terrify and torture her victims. And speaking of what she is, it's never explained. All you can say about her identity is she is a sadistic, murderous, inhuman entity who wouldn't feel out of place next to Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. In a sea of bland, Heidi is the fiery red spot that gives warmth. But that's not to say everything else about the film sucks. No, I don't care about the poorly acted characters, and the story is boring. But every event leads logically into something else. Every action the characters make was well motivated. The film relied almost entirely on practical effects, and though the editing felt a bit cinematic, it balanced between amateurish and professional camera work well enough for me to not feel too distracted by one or the other. I sentence Heidi to a 7 on a scale of 11.